Hi everybody, this is Dr. John Hayes and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Beating Neuropathy TV. In today's episode, what we're going to do is to talk a little bit about neurostimulation, what it is, and what it actually accomplishes. Neurostimulation is the term that I use to describe the type of therapy that has proven to be very effective in many patients that suffer from neuropathy and chronic pain. Neurostimulation is simply the administration of very gentle electric current through tissue, in this case nerve tissue, to help reduce pain and quite possibly improve the clinical outcomes. Electrotherapy has been around for well over 60 years. It has been used in many different applications. Only recently, however, has it been applied and researched in patients that suffer from peripheral neuropathy. The reason that electrotherapy or neurostimulation may be helpful in peripheral neuropathy is that we do know that gentle neurostimulation has been proven to be effective at reducing the pain and other symptoms that accompany peripheral neuropathy. There are some situations in which neurostimulation is not indicated. For example, if you have a pacemaker or pacemaker defibrillator, you should never use neurostimulation. Also, if you suffer from seizures or have an open wound or cut, you should never be using neurostimulation without the direct supervision of your clinician. Not all neurostimulators are the same. Common TENS units lack the appropriate frequencies and waveforms that are most effective in helping patients with peripheral neuropathy. One of the things we've discussed before is the fact that peripheral neuropathy and many forms of chronic pain, including fibromyalgia, do involve an alteration in how our bodies, in this case nerve cells, process energy. One of the things we do know is that gentle neurostimulation can be effective at stimulating cells to function better. In some cases, not only will this help reduce pain and other symptoms, but possibly speed the healing process along too. And that is very exciting. What I have in my hands here is a sample of a neurostimulator that we commonly use not only in our clinics, but also at home. There are many different types of neurostimulators. Some are much more effective at treating conditions like peripheral neuropathy than others. About the size of a cell phone, this particular neurostimulator has a couple of electrodes that can be placed at strategic locations. These neurostimulators can also be used in a number of different ways. One of the more common ways they use for peripheral neuropathy of the hands is to very simply use them with what's called a conductive garment, in this case glove obviously. We can also use them on the feet with socks and for other portions of the anatomy we can actually use them with conductive sleeves. One of the most important things to do when choosing a neurostimulation device is to choose one that has multiple frequencies. The reason for this is there is no one-size-fits-all neuropathy. There is no one-size-fits-all neuropathy treatment. For that reason, a device which has multiple waveforms and other features is liable to be much more effective than simpler devices. You can learn a lot more about neurostimulation by reading our article library at neuropathydr.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on next week's episode.